Set in person centred targets for post 16 learners with learning difficulties who are coming to college is essential. The assessment process starts before a learner enrols and continues during the first six weeks that they are at college. Experienced staff use a number of methods to identify what a learner can do and what they need to learn. One of the most important ways of finding out more is by talking to the learners themselves about their own aspirations and needs. The online tool gives colleges in Wales an additional way of assessing needs and setting individual learning targets so that they can effectively track learner progress. So we responded to a change um, that was instigated by Welsh Government in the sort of educational landscape of ILS, moving from accredited curriculum to non-accredited curriculum. So we quite quickly established that um, a sort of online assessment tool will be quite useful and assessing the skills they currently have that will enable independent living. So um, we put in an application to Welsh Government and were um, awarded a grant that enabled us to develop an assessment tool for that purpose. So the students can access, because it's web-based, they can access it from anywhere on any device, so it's um, a very flexible interface. We were also very concerned that it was an accessible interface, so it will use through assistive software such as JAWS, um, and we also had to make sure that the usability was um, very simple to use for students with sort of motor difficulties, for example. So this tool helps to establish initial targets so where there are gaps in their students' proficiencies and abilities, um, create curriculums that match that, and then there's a measurable output at the end because we can say where you started and where you finished and to measure distance travelled or added value. It gives us an opportunity as lecturers or um, educators to make sure that we are be our focused when we're developing the curriculum. So we're able to make sure that we're managing targets, we're measuring targets um, and having that tool in place to give us a starting point and then the measuring aspect for it as well it is really, really useful. My role in the project was to be assigned as part of the project group uh, to work alongside um, Kate, who was a project manager, and Phil and Lauren from Cardiff and Vale and Gwent College. Um, and we were tasked with writing the questions and setting the targets from those questions. I think it's absolutely essential that we had um, uh, the three, four of us as part of the team. I think we had lots of heated debates as to um, lots of subjectivity that we needed to discuss. So it was essential that we brought our experience and, and different perspective, different values to, and different needs for our particular students. So again, being able to debate that and discuss that as part of a team was absolutely essential to make sure we got something that was really useful uh, college-wide. In the past, the accredited courses, uh, as done, etc., good courses, but we were actually told what to teach. Now we can actually teach what the students need to be taught. Where a student would, you know, we, we could spend maybe one or two sessions with a student doing a bit of washing, a bit of ironing, etc. You know, um, having a photograph of a student pressing a button on the washing machine and then taking off that the students have actually completed the job. Now the tool and the non accredited curriculum has given us as much time as we need to do what, what the students need actually and it's fantastic, you know. It gives students targets that are very personalised to them, so it allows them to see where they um, need to improve or they need to um, practise certain skills, and it allows them to also to identify what they can do. We know that a, a decent project, like a retail um, experiment, like we're doing with the shop, um, we're just assessing on how many targets, you know, and how wide we can make it and how many targets that meets for the students, and we're finding that um, projects like the shop, like the veg bag scheme, and I know in Gwent they do the smoothie bar. So they'll be looking at um, behaviour targets, work skills targets, uh, community living targets, um, independence targets, um, and pretty much you know all of those. So at some point the students will um, have an interaction either with a, a customer or they'll um, do ironing or using a washing machine or hoovering, using a till. It's real, it's relevant it's transferable um, and it gives them so much confidence that a piece of paper um, put under them in the form of a worksheet if a student can't read and write is pointless, they get, you know, there's meaning to it. I enjoy it because in the shop because you get to talk to people and communicate and you get to talk to member staffs and you get people buying stuff in the shop. It's 
helped a lot to get me so I can get it. So I got a job now as well, so it's improved. Some of my targets have been uh, handling money, working with others and travelling independently. What do you like about working in the shop? Everything. It's one of the best things I've ever done. There's real benefits for this assessment tool that's been created. So they're learning things that are really, really relevant to their personal development, and whether that development was in a college environment and increasing their opportunities for further study, or whether it's in their sort of the life aspects of, um, and improving those areas for them as well. It's definitely being used in five other colleges throughout Wales, and we hope that that will um, increase. All the feedback that we've had to date is really good. Um, but that doesn't mean that the tool is going to remain static. I would hope that it's going to um, evolve and improve as people use it and want to tweak it.